Hey guys, it's Allegra with Moon Water and Lightning Studios, and today we are going to make resin and alcohol ink petri dishes. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, I wanted to go over some of the things that you needed to know as well as the supplies that I use. I got this silicone mold from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it uh, in the description below. I, I like to have these mats, these silicone mats down, um, but as you can see my table is not exactly clean. Um, you will need a two-part resin. I will be using Promarine today because I have an, an open bottle that I need to go ahead and finish using. Um, Art Resin is also good, Art and Glow, I've used both of those and I like those a lot. Uh, the one thing I will say about Promarine is it has a short cure time, so you don't have as much time to work with the resin before it starts getting hard and if you know that ahead of time it's not a big deal. but. Um, once it starts getting firm, the alcohol ink doesn't drop down. So you need to work fast with that. Uh, also, I have multiple colors of the uh, Tom Holtz alcohol inks and some white. You will definitely need white, so you need the colors. And then the, the heaviness of the white will push the colors down and make these beautiful starbursts. I also have some Panada um, white and you can get a big bottle of that off Amazon and then put it in these little droppers. Um, I like to use this silicone oil and I will take it and line it around the edges of my silicone mold and that just helps the resin when it's time for demolding that just helps it come out. Uh, you will need something to mix your resin in. I like using these measured silicone cups, but I know people that use um, disposable cups and that's fine as well. Make sure you have gloves, make sure you have a respirator because this, even if you're using a resin that doesn't have a very strong smell, it's still not good for you to breathe in. So make sure that you're taking the proper safety precautions, work in a well ventilated area. As far as cleanup goes, Clorox wipes, seem to be the best thing that I've found. They're just quick and easy to grab and they will clean up any drops of epoxy that you do. And the alcohol, which I know it's hard to find right now, will wipe up any extra alcohol ink. Um, you will need a torch because when you're mixing your resin, bubbles will come up. That's just part of the process. You can't really do anything to get rid of it. I like to try to mix it slow and steady uh, for at least two minutes, but you're still gonna get bubbles. So I will pour the resin in my mold and go over this a couple of quick times with the torch and then pour some more in there and go in there real quick. But you don't wanna do it too much because you can actually, I don't know a better way to say it, burn the resin and accelerate the hardening time. So I will mix the resin and we'll get started from there. Okay guys, now that we have our resin mixed and you can see the bubbles down in there, um, I like to actually do this first before mixing the resin, but I got excited. Um, we're going to go ahead and take our oil and go around and just get the edges of our mold. I don't know if there's any benefit to doing the bottom part. I haven't found one. Um, I just do the outside, you know, the edges and where 
the side of the mold meets the base and that has always served me well. A little bit of this goes a long way. And, and you can get this at any home goods store. Um, I may have gotten this off of Amazon. I also, beforehand, because once you've mixed your resin, you're on a time clock. I like to shake up my white because the thick part of the, the alcohol ink will settle on the bottom. So you wanna make sure that's good and mixed up before you start. You don't necessarily have to do it with these colors, but if you have a metallic, uh, what they call a mixative, or the white, you do need to make sure it's good and mixed up. So I'm gonna use both of my whites to see if there's any difference between brands. I know some people have preferences, so we will see. And let's get started. Go ahead and pour. And you see the consistency here. This is about what you shoot for. I mixed this for two minutes. I sat there and counted it out. Um, it's the one-to-one -one ratio, I will say, while I'm filling these things up, is very important. If you do not get enough hardener, you will end up with soft resin pieces. So, you see, just like that, right here. I also have something down in my resin, and I'm going to try to fish that out. It looks like piece of silver flake, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's put the rest of our resin in. And I'm just trying to evenly distribute these between the three molds. But I'm seeing very few bubbles. And some bubbles you just can't get rid of. Like there's bubbles down here around the edges. I'm going to try to fish those out um, with my stick. Bubbles don't bother me as much as some people. Um, I'm okay with imperfection, but some people, the bubbles drive up the wall. Okay, just sit that over there. So, just that quick. And I see another one of those pieces. Maybe it came, it's either in my mold or part of the epoxy that I poured. Either way, it's like that little silver, we don't want that. I mean, it seems fine, I think it'll be fine, but. All right, now we're going to do color and then white and then color and then white. And there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Um, I like to put a drop of white in each drop of color that I've done. And then we're gonna go back over the white. I love watching these react. It blows my mind every time. These are just fun. So. And this I am using, the, the purple that you see is amethyst, the till is turquoise, and then this is Valencia, this orange color. So pretty. Okay, now let's go 
this guy. And I am using poppy field, indigo, and wild plum. Now, you have to let this cure different resins are different. I'm going to let this one cure for 24 hours. This is the hardest part is waiting because you don't know what this stuff is in here doing and what kind of wonderful things are happening. You just have to wait and you don't want to be too anxious and then try to unmold before it's time. Now you can do as many colors as you want. I tend to stick with three if I'm doing something this size, but there's no hard, fast rules about that. And you can keep going over it with white and color all you want, okay. So we're going to let these pieces cure and I didn't make that big of a mess. That's actually pretty impressive. I generally make all kinds of crazy mess. One thing I will say, and my, um, my mold is not a good example, but be sure to clean your molds. I did clean the inside before using them. You also want to make sure to have a level area where your molds sit. If it's unlevel, all of the ink and all of the color will push to one side. So let's let these sit for a little while um, and I will demold them soon. Okay guys, it's time to unmold. Uh, let's start with this guy. I'm thinking I should have put more white in this one. And then we've got this. This is really cool. Can you see the... I like that. And then this guy is with the ranger and you can kind of see how the white dropped right to the bottom this is just another lesson in why you need to use the pinata blanco blanco but overall i'm happy that's a nice little I mean, <laughs> these aren't bad. They've got a couple of little wisps. I should have used more white in that one. Um, but I do need to talk to you guys. Let me grab the other resin pieces and I want to discuss a few things. Okay guys, so here are our pieces that we unmolded and I originally, these are the ones that we originally did, but when I looked at these, I was unhappy with how they came out, mostly because of these two. These two had very little going on, if you can see that. They were very flat. The ink just sat right where we dropped it. And 
these were with the panada white. It should have pulled them down. This is a good lesson that you will always have a fail no matter how well versed you are in your craft. Things happen. So this was with Pro Marine resin. These were with Art and Glow resin, a new container of Art and Glow resin. I believe what happened with these is that the Pro Marine is finickier, I guess, is that the word? Finickier, pickier. So I had the Pro Marine for a while, I had some left towards the bottom, and I feel like maybe it had gotten old. That might not be the case at all. But either way, the first thing I changed was the resin. And as you can see, big difference. I think with this one, I didn't let the resin sit long enough before putting in the alcohol. That's another thing that you need to get it you know, accustomed to. I get excited and I pour the resin in my mold and then I just want to drop alcohol ink in it and watch the reactions and play with the colors. But what you really need to do is let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. And I didn't do that with this either because I got excited. So lesson one, use, don't use old resin because I suspect that's what happened here. Lesson two, don't get too excited and let your resin sit because it really does make a beautiful petri if you just give it time to settle. So this was the third one in our last, in our original trio. And I don't mind this. There's actually a lot going on in it. I just wish that there wasn't so much flat white pastel color in there because it makes it hard to see and this was done with the ranger the ranger is known for dropping straight to the face just dropping straight down and i think the only reason this turned out as interesting as it did was because of the resin so i don't know what that tells you pick a resin and master it that's my best piece of advice and make sure you don't use old resin and make sure you use panada and make sure you have fun so if you enjoyed this video uh, found it somewhat helpful watching me experiment and fail please like the video leave me comments down below if you have questions or if there's something you want to see me try um, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, we have things coming out regularly and you can hit the notification bell and you'll be notified for lack of a better word whenever we have new stuff coming out. And thanks again for watching. See you next time.